Good morning, everybody, and happy 4th of July. It's going to be a hot and humid one with chance of showers and storms later on in the day. Let's take a look at your high temperatures for the day. 95 in Roanoke, 97 in Lynchburg, 90 in Blacksburg, 89 in Pulaski. It's going to be, again, it's going to be a really warm one, but we're going to cool down a little bit in the later afternoon hours in the evening, and this is why. Because we're going to have a chance of showers and storms passing through the area along with this cold front later on in the day. Could have seen some frequent lightning with some of these storms, which would obviously be a cause for postponing any plans or firework related events. And some storms could produce some isolated cases of locally heavy downpours as we head throughout the evening. We clear up overnight, but then later on tomorrow, we could see the risk of some, some strong to severe storms possible throughout the region as the ample moisture and heat really is going to provide a lot of energy for storm to develop storms to develop. We clear out overnight and then by Saturday morning we'll have relatively overcast skies in the southern parts of the area, a little bit clearer up further to the north in the highlands. But overall, it's going to be a hot, humid day today. If you're heading to the pool, you might want to do it here in the morning till about lunchtime. 90 degrees at 11 a.m., 95 at 2 p.m. But again, that chance of showers and storms could cause some people to alter their plans. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to consider that if we do get some pretty isolated cases of frequent lightning or stronger storms. By about 8 to 9 p.m., we start to watch storm development wrap up and potentially maybe then some fireworks. As we check out your 4th of July plan, or 5 p.m., 90 degrees, partly cloudy skies with chance of showers and storms. And then again, we clear up by about the 8, 9 p.m. hour. We drop down into the 80s to 70s. So overall, just a really, really hot day chance of showers and storms here and there. Hurricane Barrel is still churning in the Atlantic, heading about 110 miles southeast of the Grand Cayman. Category 3, so it has weekend, but it still is going to be a devastating hurricane, and we are monitoring impacts possible for parts of southern Texas later this weekend and early next week. Taking a look at your seven-day outlook, again, 95 degrees, showers and storms throughout the day, 96 degrees tomorrow with that chance of severe storms, and then we cool down a little bit Saturday and Sunday with a pop-up shower here and there likely.